Hello, this is uh, just a brief introduction to a new product by Cyride. Uh, they have a pretty nice line of Vario and GPS uh, devices to use, hang gliding, paragliding. This is their newest product called the Sys Evolution. Uh, it's a Vario GPS tablet. Um, so far, I have not flown with it, but I've just been uh, going through and, and looking at some of its features and uh, how customization of screens and so on. Uh, it's a company, I believe, out of France. I'm not 100% sure of that, but I believe it is. And uh, it was purchased off eBay through Let's Go Paragliding. And I uh, just want to say right off the bat, Benoit was really helpful in, the, in answering questions before the purchase, as well as afterwards. I had a few questions and uh, really responsive, really nice to deal with a company that uh, is like that. Uh, was shipped very uh, very quickly. It was actually ordered right before Thanksgiving, so a couple of days delay because of the holidays, but uh, arrived uh, just as promised. And so far, uh, it's been a real nice unit. Simple packaging. Uh, it comes in a nice little, little box. Again, I have been using it at this point. Not have flown yet, though. Nice little case. Uh, it does have a little plastic protector over the screensaver, which I had already removed, which is right here. Uh, you can see some other items that are shipped with the product. Uh, has its own uh, charger cord, which is here. Has some Velcro strips that you can use to secure it to um, probably your, your flight cockpit, of course. It is oriented in this direction. So far, it is not. you're not able to uh, change the orientation. It pretty much is going to be this way right now. Whether that changes in future updates, I do not know. Uh, you have your on-off switch here. Uh, certain lights will show up here, depending on what you're doing at, the, at that time. They're either charging or, uh, or whatever. Uh, I've already put some Velcro strips, as you can see right here. Uh, so I'm going to secure it to my cockpit. There's also a reset button right here, or actually you insert a, something like a little safety pin in there. So turning on the unit is pretty straightforward. On off switches right here, the little button. Just press that in immediately. You'll see a little glow in the eagle's eye, letting you know that it's uh, booting up. And it'll go through an internal check just to make sure everything's okay. It also allows time for the pick up the GPS satellite. So when you do go flying, turn this on a few minutes before that to make sure you have some good GPS tracking at that point. And that's uh, where it shows you it's, it is booting up. In the meantime, though, you can, as it is gathering the signals, uh, you have the home screen right here. You just press here. The unit has a lot of custom possibilities. Uh, you can go through and customize several screens. I believe there's up to 12 different screens you can customize. Uh, this is just one that I put together. Again, I have not flown with the unit, so I've just been playing around with it and see what's possible. You can load it up as much as you want or make it as simple as you want. So again, a lot of custom potential with this unit. First of all, though, I'll show you uh, the menu options here. And Everything is done by swiping. It's pretty easy to do. There, it is a little bit of pressure. You have to apply a little bit of pressure, then swipe. For example, if I want to go to a different screen, um, just pressure and over. And this takes us to, uh, this is my mapping screen. Again, totally customizable. This is what I put on there. Shows my location. Uh, go to a different screen here. Uh, again, I just, Playing around with this, more of a directional screen with some units. One thing I did notice here, now you can't see it very well because uh, it will let you know if you want, if you're in certain airspaces. I'm in the, uh, I'm in the San Diego area, I'm in the Carlsbad Class D area, uh, and it will uh, let you know that, of course, because that's what it's doing right now. Uh, not something I want to be flying in, unless I'm in uh, a uh, private aircraft where I have radio control with the uh, tower because uh, it is a controlled airspace 
Um, but as you can see right here, perhaps this is supposed to be in degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, that actually is not true. <laughs> uh, I can give me, you can see here another little screen that I just employed. Uh, quick reference says that it's actually centigrade, 25 degrees centigrade. So that is something that I've actually uh, emailed the company and said there's a little bit of a bug there that should be in Fahrenheit and it's not showing up as Fahrenheit. Again, real easy to contact the company. I've done it a couple of times so far. Really nice response and they've let me know uh, basically uh, what I was uh, not understanding or I didn't pick up in the manual. So it's all been really good so far. So again, just scrolling through the different menus, very easy. A little bit of pressure, swiping over. Uh, and again, you can do as much or as little as you want. Uh, uh, highly customizable. I know I'll keep saying that. Uh, as far as the menu, uh, you scroll up from the bottom and you're going to get to different menu screens here. And these are what they call parameters. This gives you your audio uh, uh, settings as well as your mapping or compass settings here. And if I just let it go, this will these screens will, or I should say the menu will go away on its own as it just did if you do nothing. Just go back in and you'll see the different parameters here. You can customize. This gives you information here on the unit itself. Uh, it's a fairly new unit. It just came out in the towards the beginning of 2017. Um, there's been several updates so far. I'm in firmware version 2.34. Um, they are, it seems like they're very consistently, they're doing a lot of nice upgrades. Uh, so far, I'm still waiting for the weather uh, page that's going to, that's being developed as well as the uh, Bluetooth. Um, but I do have GPS, as you saw, I do have Wi-Fi, though it's turned off right now to save the battery. And again, it gives you just, just uh, information about the unit. Go back to the home screen here. Uh, this is where I set up my Wi-Fi where it says soon, that's where Bluetooth will be soon. You have your GPS, uh, it's on right now. Again, other, other options coming in the future. Back to the home screen. Uh, here you have a language selection here. This little button there, you can actually go back to factory defaults if you want. Uh, you press that, it says, are you sure? Uh, no, I don't wanna do that, so I'm out of there. Again, other parameters coming soon. Uh, let me go into uh, airspace here. This, uh, I'm sorry, that's flights. Uh, so if you do have flights, that will show up there. Obviously, I've not flown yet with it. Back to home screen. Go back to the menu that I can do my audio here. Right now, I have my uh, vario off so I don't drive people crazy. There also, I could have a audio if I'm in controlled airspace, which is, I mentioned I am, I'm in a class D airspace right now. So that would be also letting me know. Uh, turn this on at this point. And there's the Vario. Again, that's customizable too, you can actually You can customize the frequency of the Vario too. There is an online program that you can access and you can go ahead and change uh, the frequency on that. I've not done it. Uh, it seems to just work fine for me, but yeah, just something to play around with if you want to do that. I'm gonna go ahead and turn off the Vario. Like I said, I don't wanna drive people crazy. And this is how you can uh, adjust the volume on the Vario here. We go up again, going to be um, navigation. Here you can do uh, waypoints. You have tasks you want to run. Uh, you can go also online and you can uh, configure your route at that point and then download it into your unit. So again, a lot of nice customizing features. Uh, you take advantage of it. It's all pretty simple. Um, I've gone in and I've customized the screens. I've loaded my airspace. I've uh, updated the firmware and very straightforward, no glitches, no problems. There's obviously a lot of units on the market, the uh, Flymaster, Flytech, uh, there's a Navateer OD4. Uh, OD4 was something I looked at too, nice color screen. They have a basic and a more of their uh, full 
full mode uh, models. Uh, this Cyride Sys Evolution was just under 700. Uh, very much the same price range as the OD4 Basic. Um, the one thing I really wanted, and I have not used the OD4, so I have no opinion on that other than what I've seen. It looks very nice. Uh, I wanted something that was really readable in direct sunlight. Uh, I know I've tried to use my, my phone, <laughs> and that does not show up very well in direct sunlight at all. It's just not made for that. Uh, I wanted something that was really uh, gave me a nice uh, map if I needed it. Uh, I wanted something that was really easy to see. Um, I'm older, I'm 65, so I have to wear some reading glasses. And uh, for me, this may not be obviously any sort of problem for a lot of people, but I wanted something that was really easy to see. I do wear bifocals when I'm out flying so I can see the, uh, the details really clearly. So anyway, for me, uh, it's great. Uh, I've had it outside in direct sun, uh, going in and out of shadows, and it's just perfect. Uh, so that was a real plus for me. Also, I wanted something that could be really simple. Uh, if I just wanted a Vario, GPS, maybe I want a little thermal, uh, thermaline uh, view of what I'm doing, uh, I can just make it as simple as that. Uh, if I want to get into cross country, which I do, that's kind of my next big goal is to get more into cross country. It's there, the capabilities are there. Uh, airspace, I, like I said, I'm in San Diego. Uh, cross country, you gotta be careful around here. We have class B airspace with Lindbergh. We have class D with Carlsbad. Uh, we have a lot of, a lot of uh, control airspace. So wanna stay out of that. So that's uh, again, a nice capability of this unit to warn you. It does give you a nice view if you are coming into airspace and how to avoid that.